to every person in this room who's had a struggle, who's had some pains, who's had some tests, who's got some creative ideas, but you've gone through some really tough stuff. Whatever you do, don't lose your head. Pull your feelings out of it. Pull your insecurities out of it. Be strong and very courageous. If you are going to birth your dream, your calling, your passion, you can't draw back when life gets tough. You've got to stand up to it and push. Push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. You gotta have that cup strength, that belly strength, that devil defined come hell or hot water strength, that inner strength that when I can't do as I would, I'm gonna do as I can, but I'm not gonna stop doing. If you start something, you're gonna finish it. Make a way. Figure it out, adjust, pivot, have a certain level of mental agility, and get it done. Keep going. Press on. This too shall pass. There's nothing that we come up against that's stronger than anything that we possess internally. I haven't had my best idea yet. I haven't had my most creative moment yet. I haven't produced my dream yet. I don't care whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. There's something down inside of you that's still kicking inside of you that wants to get out and it wants to live. When you start running from one thing, you're going to keep running from everything. You're gonna run from love, you're gonna run from life, you're gonna run from responsibility, you're gonna run, 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 run. When are you gonna stop running? You don't know what you've got until all hell breaks loose. You don't know what you can take until the pressure is applied to your life. You don't know what you can endure until people stab you in the back and walk away from you. You don't know how much courage you have until you've been under fire and under struggle and under tribulation. If there's any fear in your spirit right now, it ain't for you. This sh for warriors, man. This sh for soldiers, man. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go, and people feel weakness, they feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated, and there's another level you get to when you go all in. I want what all other men want, but when the pressure hits, when the opposition hits, when the challenge hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just wanted a little bit more than they wanted. That's how I conquer, and that's how nobody has ever beaten me yet. I have never met anybody who became incredibly successful until they had suffered and sweated and sacrificed and kept their focus and fought through tears and trials and tests. And if you have a dream and you commit to it, it will come to pass. There's something that you could do that would radically change your life. Somebody could take the hand you've been dealt and win with it. Same circumstances, same ideas. They would do it through what they thought about your life. But we don't need somebody, because we got you. You are the one.